What's going on, YouTube? Shoosty Bang back with another commentary. This time we're doing a little hardcore gameplay. Uh, it's Snoob603. This is Potsazilla. Uh This is my gameplay here. What I'm running here is a foul with an ACOG scope. Normally I don't use it, but I'm just attempting to finish up a challenge with it. Uh, but I'm using a PP2000 with a silencer as my backup weapon. I got a uh, cold blooded pro or cold blooded running marathon pro and um, ninja pro running. I just recently got that one, so I just kind of spaced it for a second. Uh, for uh, you guys that don't know Potsazilla or don't remember me or Fake Thriller mentioning it before, uh, he is the other member of the Bang Clan. Uh, he plays with us almost every night, so. Now you know where the hell he came from. He didn't just spawn out of the depths of hell, which you know, we kind of think he has. But It's possible, who knows. But uh, typically I play a lot of the hardcore matches. Uh, Snoob doesn't really enjoy those as much, but we're starting to get him into them a little bit more. Fake Thrill enjoys them a little bit more, but I, I like him because it's just... To me, it's a little bit more realistic. To be honest, I'm not as good of a shot as uh, Snoob and Fake Thrill are, so I get a little bit better chance of taking somebody out if I only hit him with a couple bullets. That well, works out a little bit better. Um, and also I like the fact that there's no radar except for special coming in because sometimes the radar just drives me a little bit mad that it shows you where everybody is. You, unless you have the silence around, which, yeah. Right, that, yeah. That, that's the problem with me. That's why I really have trouble and I struggle with hardcores. A lot of my gameplay relies on hearing people, you know. Uh, I always run Ninja Pro. Um, so I run silent, and when I hear people running around, I can see, you know, okay, but I'm, someone's on my left, so I can be, get prepared for that and get the jump on them before they can find me. Uh, but as of recently, I've been doing a lot better with hardcore search and destroy, so I can tolerate it at least to a point now. Now, earlier I said I don't really use the ACOG much, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point out something here. Here's a benefit of the ACOG. I got basically a rope that I shoot this guy at right between those trees. I, I just got to point that out. I was impressed with myself on that shot. Yeah, you just just uh, fitted the needle. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, so, w what is it exactly that is the draw to? Uh, what exactly about hardcore draws you, other than you know the couple other things you touched upon? Oh, by the way, you were unlucky, bitch, right here. That yeah, pretty idiot. much. This is that guy should have killed me. I got really lucky there. Uh, like I said, I just really like the fact that it's just. It just seems to, I don't want to say even the playing field, because that makes me sound like a little bitch, but it just makes it a little bit more difficult. you got to be a little bit more nimble, I should say, a little bit more wary of where your shots are going and who's shooting you, because if you get hit only a couple times, you're out. Yeah. So, you know, it's just, you get shot once, you're done. Nice Instead thing. of, you know, in, let's say in regular gameplay, somebody shoots you with a sniper rifle or something, and you don't die, so you kind of have a chance to find them. In this one, you only got one chance. You get hit with a sniper rifle, you're done. Yeah, exactly. And a lot of other weapons, you know, like you said earlier, it's, it is definitely much, uh, much more realistic. You get yes. um, pretty much any weapon, two-hit kill from anywhere on the map, uh, especially for running stopping power, which is kind of redundant in Search and Destroy. But yes. the other added benefit is MLCers. Um, you know, you don't sit there with something, say like a P90 with rapid fire for your attachment, and, you know, you can empty half that clip, and that guy will just command will slide right through you. But in this, it's, no, it's no, not going to happen. You're done. Yep. So, I, th actually, that is one of the greatest things about this, <laughs> is not having to deal with commando lunges all the time. See, there you go. It's uh, slowly drawing into the hardcore world. It is. Me? That one fact alone makes me want to play hardcore all the more now. Yes. Now, I typically play the headquarters style. Uh Basically, just because I really don't like that wait time that you have between normal hardcore team deathmatch or hardcore search and destroy. I can't stand when I get killed, because you may notice sometimes I'm a little bit reckless. I just kind of run out. It's it's a habit. I'm trying to break myself of it. But it, <laughs> I prefer to just respond immediately and then run out again. So that's generally how I pull this off. So, See, me personally, I mean, that is definitely a, a, the benefit of playing headquarters. But I just can't tolerate it, and I've said it to Potsazilla, and I've said it to Fake Thriller, and they don't believe me, but I am positive that when you're playing at headquarters, nine times out of ten, or even more often than that, 99 times out of 100, whoever gets the bomb first and starts scoring first wins. 
it, it's ridiculous, especially on smaller maps. It's it's almost as if the bomb where they pick where it goes next is intended to benefit the last team to score. It, there's almost a pattern behind it. Well, as I said, I will disagree on that one because it really just depends on how you pick your spots. Like right here, you know, we kind of got the bomb pretty well defended. And you got you will well now you moved, but you were at that other window and you took out those guys continuously coming out of those windows. I just took out those guys there. Unfortunately, one got a little bit too close and used SMG on, FMJ on my ass. Yeah, with the stupid UMP-45. By yeah. the way, I hate UMP-45. I'm just going to put it out there. I mean, honestly, if I could curb stop every little bitch that uses the UMP-45, I'd be happy. But yeah, I'd be right there with you. Now that we're off that tangent, back on yeah. topic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, i got to ask you, Snoof, why is it you didn't really enjoy hardcore to begin with? Like I said, the big thing for me was not having the radar. Just the reference. I don't right, need it to radar. see yeah. where the enemy is. I actually I need to see where my teammates, teammates are. Because yeah. I hear people walking, and it's a quick little peek. At, you know, I don't even need to actually look. I just see it on my peripheral vision. Is is that a green arrow, or is it no one? Okay, there's a green arrow around me, so it's more than likely not going to be an enemy. Yeah. But if there's no one around, well, okay, well, now i got to take my time, and there's someone going to be coming around the corner at some point. Um, and I should be able to hopefully take care of business. Now, I want to point something out right here. Normally, when I get airdrops and a counter review, counter UAV, I get pissed off because that sucked in Snoop. That was an awesome kill right there. <laughs> uh, but it was the best timing you could ever ask for. And this kill here, sorry to jump in there, I, I shot that guy right in the face. Yeah, it, I, it had to been the lag, but it just made me really angry. I remember swearing about that. But back to the counter UAV. Normally, when you get the counter UAV, in an airdrop, you, you're you kind of angry about that. But I got that immediately after the other team got a UAV. So it yeah. was actually good timing. It's good timing. Mm -hmm. Well, that wraps it up. So this is Shoosty Bang. Hope you enjoy their latest video. If you like it, please leave comments. Leave the good and the bad. We'd like to know what we can do to change it. Uh, it's Snoo603. Potsazilla. See you for the next one.